Hello everyone. Under the ECMO troubleshooting simplified series, today we will see about differential hypoxia or otherwise called as North-South syndrome or Harlequin syndrome. What can happen? Lower PO2 and a lower saturation is observed in the upper extremities comparable with the lower extremities. Echocardiography demonstrating the increased intrinsic cardiac output. Inadequate oxygen delivery to the brain especially when we are running in peripheral ECMO. What causes this uh, North-South syndrome? It occurs especially with a severe respiratory failure and high cardiac output. Inadequate venous drainage failing to keep the heart empty especially in peripheral arterial cannulation employed in VA ECMO. How to assess this problem? Compare saturation and ABG values at furthermost point from arterial cannulation typically from the right radial artery with the lower body saturation and ABG values. Obtain echocardiography evaluation of cardiac output. Monitor the cerebral oxygen content if you are having an NIRS monitor. How to manage differential hypoxia or North-South syndrome? Increase the ECMO blood flow to full cardiac output. Optimize the ventilator and air oxygen blender FiO2 also to 100%. Consider decreasing or discontinuing the inotropic supports. Consider changing to axillary artery or central cannulation strategy. Consider switching to VV ECMO if cardiac function is, seems to be adequate. Consider VAV ECMO with additional inflow cannula to jugular vein if cardiac function is not adequate.